Sup, YouTube frogs. It's been a bit. By the time this video is out, probably be like a week or something. How are them gene stongs going with the release of Farina? I think a lot of you guys are like, whoa, this new standard five star character is lit. We're gonna do a quick guide today. I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit of an efficiency build path in order to use your gene with your Farina. Know that this is not an exhaustive gene guide. This will only cover gene when it comes to using her with Farina. Do you want a full guide on Farina, by the way? It is already out on YouTube. Let's dive into it. So first off, let's see how my gene's built. My current gene is probably not a build that you would usually expect a gene to have. My build is a Favonius R5 at level 90. She's on four piece Beard S Inventor. Constantly do not matter. This build works whether it's C0 or C6, totally fine. And her talents are whatever. They're just triple eight and she is C6, so she obviously has levels on them. But here's the thing. Here's the attribute page. She has 237% recharge. You also notice that she has 58.1% healing bonus. Why is Jean so nice for Farina? Farina's E steals the HP continuously of your party members to a point where they, you're basically permanently running on 50% HP. And then when her her ultimate is active. She wants to stack these things called fanfare stacks. Jean solves a lot of the problems that Farina has. What does Farina force you to do? It forces you to run a proper healer. It also does not have any built-in resistance shred. So for a character that buffs your team, we can think of a character very similar. It's like Kazuha. Kazuha for the longest time has been known to reduce resistances of your enemies with your Inventor, but also buff the team corresponding to the element that he absorbed. So his damage bonus is very similar to Farina's damage bonus. At level six, Farina's giving your whole team 51% at max fan fair. And if you level this talent even more, it goes up even higher. If you have constellations or you have level eight or level nine, this buff is like 60 to 65%, which is quite a bit. Now we want to use the best of both worlds. So Jean is here because her burst, not only does it have a huge big burst of your team's healing, but the active character also gets continuously regen, which is nice. So even while your team is continuously getting funneled, the person who is on the field probably taking damage from enemies will be healed over time as well while Farina is doing her whole thing. There are some problems with Jean though when it comes to this, right? Jean has 80 energy cost, which is the second highest. Cooldown 20 seconds fits pretty well with the rotation of Farina. Farina's rotation is usually 20 seconds. Farina's cooldown for her ultimate. It says it's 15 second cooldown, but it's an 80 second duration. So you can consider it to be a 20 second rotation. Jean has 80 energy cost and her healing is purely attack scaling. Usually when it comes to a Jean build, you might do a sort of hybrid DPS. That means you would maybe do something like attack, a Nemo Goblet, and crit. Here you see, I don't even have this leveled, but this is for proof of concept just to, just to show you guys. I'm currently running energy recharge timepiece, attack goblet, and a healing bonus circlet. The healing Healing bonus circlet is to make sure that she is not only full healing, but even potentially overhealing your team. This depends on the team that you're running. If you have more HP based characters, the HP pool of your character is much higher. Say for example, you're running Yelon. Yelon usually has between 30 to 40,000 HP, depending on your build. Farina herself is between 30 to 40,000 HP. Novalette maybe, all right, about 40,000 HP. If you're running Mono Hydro and you're running HP scaling characters, Jean is gonna need to heal about 17 to 20,000 HP per character, which is quite a lot. So healing bonus helps you get that big boost of healing to help full heal your team and get maximum fanfare stacks for your Farina. Now here's the thing with Jean. Okay, her build is pretty flexible. The better your gene is, or the better your team comp is, the more offensive your artifacts can go. So we're gonna start with the baseline here. The baseline is energy recharge for her 80 cost burst, attack goblet for her attack scaling healing. You don't need a Nemo damage bonus because she's not concerned about the damage, right? And then circle this healing bonus. So this is the bare minimum. Now we can get into changes into her build depending on how strong your team is. You can change the circlet to crit rate or crit damage at any point in time. This is if you don't need the healing bonus circlet, if you notice that she's getting max fanfare stacks and you don't need this. Goblet can be interchangeable between attack or a Nemo damage bonus. It really doesn't matter. Attack percent is more often better. It attributes to her normal attacking and it also affects her Nemo damage. This is a hybrid goblet. Usually when it comes to hybrid gene, you will be running attack percent or you'd be running a Nemo damage goblet with an Aquila Favonia on the weapon. Timepiece. Energy recharge is most often going to be the case, but you can also run a attack percent. So here's the debate. Do I run an energy recharge with a different weapon or do I run Favge with an attack percent? My current situation is Favge is too strong. 
You guys all know how strong Fav is. Avonius is a one for all supportive weapon. Not only does it give her 60% recharge as a secondary stat, but the secondary stat is so useful for the rest of your team, even if you only proc it once per rotation. So usually I prefer keeping the Favonius sword and running something different here. However, I think that energy recharge sands is too good. You can opt for attack sense if you're running Fav. You could consider if you have Jade Cutter is probably one of the only other weapons that I would consider. Between R1 to R5, you're getting 20 to 40% HP. And you're also converting that HP into attack. Jade Cutter is giving you extra attack here. It has higher base attack and also has 44% crit rate. So this can offset what you're losing. If you do run Primordial Jade Cutter, you can run Energy Recharge Timepiece and you can run about 160% build, okay? Now here's a question. How is Skyward Blade? Listen guys, things have not changed since the beginning of the game. Skyward Blade's passive is one of the worst in the game. It is only particularly useful for Bennett main DPS if you want to do that. But for every other situation, Favonius and its passive is leagues ahead in utility. The utility of this is too great. How about Amanoma on Jean? Amanoma is a fine choice. However, I do recommend you have R5 Amanoma. You're losing half of her kit if you do that, right? Energy recharge is for the uptime. Attack is for the heal scaling. Maybe we didn't fully cover weapons. You can also use Freedom Sworn if you don't need the recharge. You can also use Amanoma, which we just explained. Festering Desire, but you shouldn't because that should be on Farina. It's way better on Farina. You can use Flow of Sondra if you want. You can use Sapwood Blade if you're doing a, a vape comp. Sure. Most of the time, you're not going to be using Gene on a Quicken Aggravate comp. You'd be using Hydro or a Dendro Healer. All right. That should be covering Jean's build. When we're talking about artifact stats, by the way, you guys understand that Beardess and Venner is the best because Jean is probably going to be solo Anemo on your team. The swirling, the decreased res will affect Farina's own damage, even if there's no one else that uses it. So it is very useful. It also leaves behind the field, okay? And if Jean is on field, she will continuously swirl within her own field, which is also nice. So Beardess and Venner is a must. Here's the one thing that I think most people will have a problem with. They won't have a healing bonus Beardess and Venner circlet. So if you're having trouble, Forcing for EV, you can skip the healing bonus circlet. You can use crit. It's totally fine. Healing bonus is like best Farina supportive build. If you want a build that is perfect for Farina, ER attack healing bonus is for Farina. Any other build is more gene focused and not Farina focused, which is totally fine. Talk about rotation. You will always see me do Farina Q into Gene EQ every single time. You can skip Gene's E, but Gene EQ is perfect because the particle generation from her E can also probably Favonius, which is nice. And also her E cooldown is six seconds long, right? Six second E is super, super spammable. This six second cooldown, by the way, matches exactly with a maxed R5 Favonius' passive. This can only occur once every six seconds. It literally matches the cooldown. It's perfect. There's full synergy with this entire kit. Jean's best use case is if you have a quick swap composition where you can continuously swap into her and E. Most people don't have the attention span to do that. Even myself, I don't remember to do that every six to 10 to 12 seconds. So most of the time, for an autopilot build, you just EQ once every 20 seconds. You can basically ignore everything else. And for that reason, if you only EQ once, you have you need a high recharge. If you're able to do more fabs procs, then you can decrease this recharge down to maybe 200%. But 80 cost and purely off field to only use her burst is pretty expensive. All right, let's talk about team comps. Farina Jean works with basically every archetype that you can imagine, right? So the only archetype that Gene Freeman does not work is Bloom. So if you're running a Bloom comp, your focus is going to be Kokomi, Yao Yao, Baiju, maybe an Electro like Cookie, but most of the time not. Gene's purpose is in Vaporize comps, in Freeze comps, but she is exceptionally strong in Mono Hydro. Mono Hydro is her best comp. Okay. One of the comps that I think you guys should really use and is my current favorite composition is this comp. Gene is on field in this comp. Okay. Farina is off field. Farina is E only. And then her burst buffs her damage, Yelon's damage, and Xing Chiu's damage. Xing Chiu can run Favch here instead of Sacrificial Sword. You have Triple Hydra. Or if you have enough of the stats, you can run DPS Xing Chiu as long as you have the energy to funnel it. Okay. Yelon, Favch, or whatever weapon you have. For like the most brain dead comp, you can do double Favch, Yelon, Xing Chiu. So Favch Warbow on Yelon, Favch Sword for Xing Chiu. Farina uses Fest desire gene also uses fav sword so if you want to do a triple fav your team will never run out of energy 
it's cringe. I know, I know it's cringe if you have three Favj, okay? But it's it's insane, all right? Now, here's the thing. The only person who really needs Favj is Jean, because she is on field here. She's going to be using it often. Yelon and Xingqiu, you can choose to go more offensive, especially Xingqiu. If you only have one R5 Favj sword, or even just like an R3 Favj sword, then Xingqiu can ditch it. You can give it to Jean. Xingqiu can use anything that's DPS based. What other compositions with Jean? Uh, you can use Novalette with this comp. Vaporize is fine. Freeze, also good. Farina Jean changes the core archetype for Ayaka teams. So Ayaka, Farina with Shenhe now the looks like this. Working. This comp is, I would say, weaker though than the other choice, which is Kazuha here and Kokomi here. Um, The reason is because Kazuha's EQ is heavy grouping and grouping is very valuable for freeze compositions. In this Jean comp, you don't really have anyone that can group. I mean, you can hold E with Jean, but it's not really that effective for larger enemies. So yeah. Farina's weapon is whatever. You can go DPS. You can go crit based weapon. Her signature is perfect. You won't have problems with energy. Minimum recharge for Jean, I think is 200%. I don't think you should go lower than 200% recharge unless you have multiple Favj. Each Favonius weapon drops the recharge by 20%. What if I don't have Jean? What should I use on her? That is a great question. For my non-Jean owners who are somehow watching this Jean video, you can use Sayu instead. Sayu is close would recommend you have c6 it's basically the same circle impact and it does kill your active character if you have sayu c6 so that is a possibility totally fine run for revere that's inventor she just rolls around like a ball heals your team sayu is basically a mini gene right it just the difference is that sayu will be generating less particles because she doesn't have a low cooldown e like gene does okay sayu can totally wield sacrificial greatsword if you want as well baiju not really relevant here because baiju is a different element the reason why sayu is replacement is because they're the same element so they can be used in identical comps baiju would be used in blue oriented comps where jean does not have a have a use would you trade yellen or xingqiu for mona if i wanted her in my comp yeah totally um so here's 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 one thing say you yes. don't have yellow okay which is common you wanted to use Mona instead. If you have Mona here, it's all right, but Mona's more burst DPS. In a mono hydro comp, you're looking for consistent DPS. And if you're doing a Mona oriented comp, then it kind of changes a little bit because instead of Xingqiu, you would want someone like Nivellet who can actually Perhaps use Mona's Omen. But if you're using Nivellet, you don't need Jean's healing. So this also changes. You can go Kazuha instead. If you do decide to use Mona, you kind of change the whole identity of the comp because you want to utilize things effectively. But yeah, you can totally do it if you want to. It's just not going to be efficient, okay? Ayato is also an option if you want. If you don't have Yelon, you want to use Ayato, go for it. Yeah, it's totally fine. Uh, Ayato Jean is very much Circle Impact. It's the exact same type, right? They both have like wide circle AoEs and stuff. Question was, what if we change either Yelon, let's do Yelon because she's the five-star character, or Xingqiu for another Anemo character. Say for example, Kazuo. So here's the thing. What is Kazuo really doing here, right? All of his roles are taken. Jean already holds Veerdes and Venerer. Kazuo does not need to do that. Kazuo can buff your allies, but Farina already does that. Farina already buffs your whole team. So Kazuo kind of doesn't do anything. Yes, only for CC. But if you're doing a mono hydro comp, if you're doing crowd control, usually you'd use crowd control for AoE. In this particular case, there is no AoE. You're mostly doing single target damage. Farina and Jinjo are both single target. Jean is also single target, unless you consider her field. So it is just strictly worse than just running even just one more other DPS. And again, if you run Kazuo, then Kazuo is just better in the alternative comp, which is without Jean. Kazuo provides elemental damage buff which is different from farina's buff isn't it no they are calculated the same way when you guys see damage bonus it is the same whether it's elemental physical they're all considered damage bonus crit is a different part attack hp and defense are calculated differently this is probably something that like most of you guys know but if you don't know it's a big thing to learn about elemental damage bonus here that cosmo brings is the same thing as farina's entire team buff from her q the same thing does it work on transformative elemental reaction no it does not so this damage increase is not for things related to bloom anything related to elemental mastery except for vape and melt this does not affect what about a sino team all right so for all hyper carries this includes sino this includes lament this includes Linny. this includes wanderer gene is not optimal i would not use gene okay Jean should be replaced by Mika in those teams, okay? So this is no longer related to Jean. Jean is just not good for hyper carries because hyper carries have to move around a lot. 
Genius Circle Impact. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned and can now enjoy your gene. Enjoy your 250% recharge gene that is heal bot your for your Farina. It's a really good synergy. I hope you guys enjoy. Try out the Mono Hydro, by the way. It's really strong. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Balls. Take care.